Good evening, Tanya. No, so you're better now with less uh, flu symptoms. So, oh. the, so the flu is away now. Yes. <laughs> so that's good. I and what? <laughs> it was it was just a uh, a regular flu. I can see. All right, so that's good. Good evening, Jose. Good evening, Nati. Good to see you. Hi, good evening. Last week, all right, we're just about to start the last week of this module, and it's going to be the last week of the year, okay? So let me ask, uh, so you have been with Inglés Corporativo the whole year, or is this the first time you joined this company? Let's say, yeah, Tanya. For me, the first time. It's the first time over there, all right. Nice. What about me you, too, Nati? It's the first time. So it's the first time over there. Yes. So, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna be like the icebreaker with you. <laughs> the icebreaker over here. <laughs> In, in the other uh, course, uh, are you always the teacher or they switch teacher? No, it's only a one-time experience. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a one-time experience. Like, remember the like, little gift, sorpresitas, when you were little? <laughs> yeah, you, you, you didn't know what you were going to get, right? O sea, no sabía que le iba a tocar en las sorpresas. So that's that's how it works over here at Inglés Corporativo. We have a lot of teachers, lots of teachers, trust me. But you're going to you're going to realize next year that teachers have different styles to teach, okay? So others, you know, focus mostly on, on the uh, platform and some others like me, you know, try to uh, I would say pay more attention to your English practice, okay, like speaking practice. So that is my motto. Do you know what a motto is? Motto, no una moto, verdad? Do you know what what motto is? Okay, significa motto. Any idea? Let me write it down. Okay. Motto. Motto means uh, a way of living, or sea un lema, okay. Moto, con doble T, all right? Moto. So my motto is the more you practice, the more you learn, okay? So that's uh, my, I would say my philosophy, okay? That's the motto, es como la filosofía. So that's my motto over there. So how are you doing, Manuel? Hello. And so how, you're fine over there. Okay, so happy to, to, to finish this for once, Dios no solo vez, for once. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know, I can see, Manuel, so I can see, and don't, don't get me wrong, okay? Don't get me wrong. O sea, no me malinterprete. Don't get me wrong. What is so many este mensaje en el chat? Don't get me wrong. I can see that you're shower and shade and everything, right? Ready for the class. Trasurada, <laughs> you shave and shower and everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> me, quedo, me quedo tiempo al fin de semana. Sí, gracias a Dios. Thank God. Thanks God. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I think uh, tomorrow I'll be spending, let's say, like 15 minutes working on the platform on the uh, on the final exam with you. Okay. So I'm, go I'm gonna I'm gonna try to help you with the platform, but that's for tomorrow. So today we gotta continue. Um, you know, covering some to some topics, and that's the idea that I have for you this evening. Okay. All right. So let's get started over here. As you can see, we're just beginning uh, week number four, and just a heads up. Eh, esa frase es muy importante. So la voy a mandar al chat. Let me send it to you. All right. Just one second. All right. When somebody gives you the heads up, y esa no es la palabra de la noche, solamente le voy a mandar un vocabulario, okay? Heads up, all right? 
heads up es como un aviso, you know, heads up, you know, ah, lo estoy poniendo al tanto, es a heads up, right? Heads up, right? like you're like this, right? Paying attention, right? Heads up, right? Or, estas son frases bien gringas, ¿verdad? No, porque yo sea gringo. FYI, FYI, ok, significa for your information, o sea, para que usted esté sabedor, you know, FYI, alright? So, the FYI is last day of class is this coming Thursday, all right? And also, the last day for you to complete the platform is also Thursday at midnight, okay? Medianoche, midnight, all right? The problem is that in Sephora people, they are not going to give us extension, so you got to be careful. If you need help, this is the time I can help you, all right, this way. Okay, so that being said, I I need to also talk about something else. This, I mean, I think it was yesterday, I shared with you a list of verbs. Did you take a look at the verbs I shared with you? Regular and, and regular verbs, yeah? Did you at least, uh, like I don't know, maybe uh, see the, the uh, message over there and you say, okay, I'm gonna check you later. You know, that list was shared to me by a teacher when I was beginning to study English, like in, in a beginner level. So that list means a lot to me, all right? But that's not the main topic that I have for you, all right? Como ya viene Navidad, all right? You know, Christmas is just around the corner. Let's talk about this, the word of the day. And that's the word that I have for you, all right? So take a look at this. Wet blanket. Any idea what this uh, idiom means? Now, just remember that idioms don't mean most of the time literally what they, uh, you know, may seem or, or, or look like, all right? What's the meaning of wet, by the way? What's the meaning of wet? Mojado. Exactly, exactly. And blanket, blanket. What is blanket? Servilleta? No. Mm, something like that, yes. But blanket is las colchas o sábana, pero son colchas de frío. Wet blanket. O sábana le podrían decir también. Pero sábana en realidad es cheat con doble E. Ok. Entonces en realidad esa es una cobija. All right. Wet blanket. The correct word is cobija, ¿verdad? Porque sábana es como hoja o como, um, sí, como hoja de papel, ¿ok? Ahorita le mando, you know, let me send that to you, all right? Eh, my blanket es cobija para el frío, ¿verdad? When it's cold, <laughs> like right now. And then sheet, cuidado con la pronunciación, sheet como hoja de, de papel bon es sábana, all right? <clears throat> that and uh, let me just uh, share the screen again over here. Sorry, let's see. That's the one. All right. So, but my point is, so what's the meaning of wet blanket? All right. A blanket means cobija, and then wet means sabana mojada. It means that when you're little and you make pee, you know, you pee yourself because you're a child. You got a baby, you cannot go to the bathroom. Is that what it is? Cama mojada? Maybe is that what it is? Any idea over here? Somebody says me. I think it means this. Who has in, any idea of what wet blanket means without Googling, please? Any idea about this? All right, let me give it to you then. Wet blanket. It's a person who spoils other people's fun by failing to join in with or by disapproving of all of, of their activities. If you still don't get it, I mean, no problem over there. All right, let me just repeat this. A person who spoils other people's fun by failing to join in 
with or by disapproving of their activities. Okay? Or it's a negative person who tends to ruin other people's good times. Like imagine yourself December 24th and you want to throw a party, let's say. But remember that we are still under an emergency due to COVID-19. All right. So, and then your mom tells you, put a mask. All right. Okay. Póngase, póngase una mascarilla, le van a decir. And you may, you, may, you may think, okay, you're boring. You know, you're a wet blanket. In other words, agua fiestas. Okay. Agua fiestas. That's a wet blanket over there. Si le dicen que le baje volumen a la cumbia el 24, no, you're going to be a wet blanket over there. Okay. Etc. So that's a wet blanket. It's not a water, a water putty, right? No, it's not a water putty. <laughs> okay. Let's continue over here. Example sentences. So don't be a wet blanket. Okay. Imagine this example. Don't let Joseph come on the, uh, the Vegas trip. He's only going to be a wet blanket and take the fun out of everything. Okay. So don't be that type of person. All right. A wet blanket over there. Now, the first activity you're going to be working on uh, this evening is this one. It's a perfect tense game okay so i'm gonna send to you the access information to the whatsapp chat and also to the zoom chat right away okay so let me just one second over here but basically what you have to do is uh like play a game it's going to give you some vocabulary matching and you're going to be able to see some sentences and everything over there the idea is to get uh many points or as many points as possible over there. Okay, so just one sec. Okay. Yes, one more over here. All right, so questions about the word uh, wet blanket. Or are we all good over here? All right, so so far so good. You may say that or not. I mean, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, I just sent the access information to you in the Zoom chat. All right, can somebody just tell me if it actually went through? If you got it, please. And I'm sending this to the uh, personal chat right now. Were you able to open it? Yes. Alguien que me confirma, por favor, if it's working. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. teacher. All right, all right. Thank you. Yes, Appreciate it. All right, so it's loading for me. Okay, so it's loading for me right now. So I'm going to exemplify it over there. Okay, so just one second. All right. Yeah, I think I can share the screen with you over here. Yes, I can do that. Okay. Yes. I, let me let me just go ahead and share the screen with you. Okay. And and in that way, you're you're going to understand what you're about to do over here. All right. Now take a look at this. So, are you able to see the same game on my screen? Teacher. Yes? Yes. All right, thanks. Appreciate that. Now, all you got to do, but don't do it right now, please, because I'm going to give you no more than five minutes for you to, to, for you to play this, all right? So you click on what it says, uh, play it over there. So let me just, one second, let me just take this away, okay? Yeah, just like that. And then you're going to see uh, this, and let's see, we got to play. All right, click on play, and then you gotta match the uh, past participle right now. So we go uh, do, don't I think, yes. And, and then you listen to the pronunciation over there. So I'm not sharing the pronunciation right now, but 
If you do it, you're gonna be able to hear that, all right? And you go here. Right. Eaten, right? You go, go, gone, all right? And you're gonna see a bunch of verbs over there. As you can see, it's a mixture of uh, irregular verbs. You see, make, made, see, seen, all right? But I would say this is level one. You know, it's gonna get more complicated. Okay, drink, drunk. No. All right. <laughs> okay, and it goes over here, right? Listen, uh, what is it? It's over here. Listen, right? And read, read. Okay, and then now it's going to be, uh, you gotta make this match. Okay, is it she or he? And then you go she, right? And then you got to use the auxiliary, right? You go, she has, etc. Or if it's you have, all right? She has. And then you got to choose the verb. Eaten, what? A mountain. <laughs> Se comió una montaña. Lunch, shower, a book, or her homework. Se comió la tarea. <laughs> all right? Lunch, right? And then you keep on playing just like that. All right? Copy that, everyone. Yeah, that's very clear, right? Yes, teacher, it's clear. Okay, so uh, let me just get the time over here, okay? And then I'll be giving you uh, five minutes, all right? So five minutes. And the screen will show on my, the time will show on my screen. So start now, please. Yeah, you can unmute your microphone. So in that way, we're, we're going to be able to see what you have in there. All right. So I'm going to take the time right now. Okay. But I don't think it's going to work. All right, so I'm just gonna keep on playing myself so you can see my screen in there, okay? Has take taken shower, shower. They haven't climbed a mountain or the mountain. They has. All right. Uh, 
Okay. All right, so let's do something over here. Uh, everyone, so may I have your attention, please, in here? Okay, so may I please have your attention, all right? Yes, thank you. So as you can see, we just finished the 10 exercises over here, all right, which were just subject, auxiliary, and then the verb in past participle plus the complement. So that's the structure over there. But right now, it's a little bit just more complicated. So all together, which means everybody, I need you to have your microphone open and then just tell me, it doesn't matter if, for example, Manuel, uh, you uh, say the word first or, or the answer first and then Tanya, et cetera. But right now, everybody, what's the answer over here? What would be the answer? Let's see A, B, and C. Just say A, B, and C. And then you say the, the phrase over there or the sentence. A, B, and C. Which one will be? C. Yes. And then let's try to say it, please. It doesn't matter if it's like a whole mess. No importa si se como desorden, but at least you gotta practice a little bit over here. Okay. So in it is, he hasn't broken. He hasn't broken his, his arm, right? And so la, la practica es que todo digamos esto, ¿verdad? No importa si se escucha, ¿verdad? Solamente el ruido. But in the end, you gotta just say it, all right? So that's the idea over here. So he hasn't broken his arm. Pero tratemos de decirlo así de corrido. So it doesn't really matter, you know, all at once. So he hasn't broken his, his arm over. Okay, number two. All right, so number two, you have she has passed the test, she has passed the test, and then she has passed the test. So A, B, or C? B. Yes, and it is the phrase? She has she passed, has the, passed test. the test. Okay, she has passed the test. Passed. 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 Okay, passed the test. Passed. All right. Now, just remember something. Si el verbo estuviera solo, sería, usted tiene que pronunciarlo past. Pero como está la T a la par, se disminuye. You, you gotta like, uh, I would say diminish, okay? Not, not to, not to uh, emphasize the sound over here. Like, she has passed the test, just like that. But please don't say she has passed the test. Never, please. Okay, don't say that, please. All right. All right, and then we have, uh, he made it a sandwich, he, he have made a sandwich, he has made a sandwich, A, B, or C? C. C. All right, and the statement is, he has? C. He has made a sandwich. He has made a, made a sandwich, made a sandwich, made a sandwich, right? Okay. And then we have, he ordered a pizza, he ordered, uh, he has ordered a pizza, he has an order a pizza. He has an order. He has an order a pizza. All right, so C, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then we have, it says, yes, she has watched her, her, she hasn't watched her, her, and she has watched her, her. A, B, or C? B, C. Uh huh. And the same thing is? She has watched her, pizza. All right. Now just listen to the pronunciation. She has washed her hair. Washed. Washed her hair. All right. She has washed her hair. Yes. All right. She has washed her hair. Thank you, Edwin. And then we have they have listened to music. They has listened to music and they have listened to music. A, B, or C. B. C. 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 Yeah, it's actually letter C. All right. Letter C over there. Why? Because it, it has to be in EV. Now, and listen to the pronunciation. We don't say listen it, all right? We don't say listened, but we say listened con una D, listen. But we don't, we don't pay too much emphasis on the letter D, porque tiene una T. Entonces, you know, we put it down. We, we know we lower. Like, they have listened to music. Listen to music. They have listened to music. You make the sound in your, in your mouth over there with your tongue and also, uh, but you don't say, you, they have listened to music. No, that's not correct. You, you, say, you just say, they have listened 
to music, okay? And we have, yes, they have had breakfast, they have had breakfast, they have had breakfast. They, they have have breakfast. A, 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 B or C? B. C. Yes, it's actually letter B because they is the subject, all right? Have is the auxiliary, and then you need a verb in past participle, okay, which is had. All right, they have had breakfast. Let us see it's incorrect because have is just the present form. And then uh, letter A, it's incorrect because had, no es el auxiliar, es have, all right? So that's why, that's why letter B is correct. All right, and the last one, it says no, they have graduated, graduating, gra ju, 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 no dicen graduated, no, graduated, no. Graduated, graduated from college. They hasn't graduated from college and they haven't graduated from college. A, B, C, I'm sorry, A, B, or C. 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 Yes. You know, grammatically speaking, A is correct, but according to the image, they haven't graduated from college. All right? Graduated from college. Remember, it's not graduated. No, it's gra ju, ju, graduated mm -hmm. from college over there. All right? Igual cuando dicen individuo o individual. No dicen individual, aunque se escribe igual que en español. It's written down in the same way. Individual, no. I just sent that to, to the, uh, to the uh, Zoom chat. It's individual, dual, dual, all right? Individual, okay? Individual. Lo mismo pasa con educación. Es, no se dice education, all right? Or, or, Se dice edu, education, education. Aunque se escribe education, right? But it's edu, edu, all right? Entonces, graduation, individual, en education, se, la D se pronuncia como you, you, como cuando dice, how are you? Like you, you. Education, individual, and graduation, all right? And it was, they haven't graduated from college. Nice. Nice. We got uh, 5,550 points, which is good. All right. And then uh, the, the game continues. So if you want to practice at home, go ahead and do it, please. But right now, since we don't really have time to do this, we will move forward over here. All right. So let's continue. Okay. The next activity, it's... You know, it's one, let me just mute your microphones over here, okay? And just one second. All right. One second. You know, I'm sorry, but I'm going to mute your microphones, all right? And I'm sorry, my screen is a little bit dark right now. I don't know why. Maybe because the light is over there, but it doesn't really matter, all right? Let me take this away. Also, this control panel away okay now take a look at this please i really enjoy this conversation all right remember last time i told you I, i'm going to uh explain to you the difference between the present perfect or and the simple past in a conversation it's like if two friends i would say like tanya is talking with manuel or, or, or somebody else is speaking with one another over here etc Okay, so take a look at this. It says present perfect or simple past. The situation, Maria, what's the situation? Maria is having a problem with English tenses. O sea, con los tiempos gramaticales, tenses, right? She decides to ask Chepe, Chepe Luis, right? Or Jose Luis, a teacher for help. And that's the name over there, all right? Very Salvadorian, as you can see in there. So right now, I just need two volunteers. I need Maria. And I need Jose slash Chepe to help me practice. I need two volunteers from you, everyone. Do voluntarios, por favor. Two volunteers I need right now, please. All right, Vanessa, you're the first one. You're gonna be Maria, and then Chepe could be just a, uh, could be a lady or it could be a gentleman. It doesn't really matter. Okay, okay, it doesn't really matter. It could be a, a gentleman or it could be just. Uh, another uh, lady over here. 
Ok. Ok, Vanessa va a ser eh, María. ¿Quién va a ser Chepe? Eh, me, teacher. All right, so thank you, Manuel. Appreciate that. All right, so all you got to do right now is just to read. Ok. And let me just remind you of something. This is the first conversation you're going to be practicing tonight in the uh, breaker rooms. And remember, the name of the activity, o la forma que quiero que practiquen, por favor, y yo sé que les va a funcionar es, lean lo, el principio de la oración, I would say, read the beginning of the, same, of the statement, and at least the last word, you gotta look up. ¿Se acuerda, Manuel? Aunque sea yes. la última palabra, ¿verdad? Apague la luz. <laughs> Turn off the light. <laughs> okay. Or do something, no sé. Something like this. Okay. And it's going to help you. So go ahead, please, uh, Vanessa, and then uh, you continue, uh, Manuel. Chepe, I have a problem. Can you help me? Sure. What's the matter? I don't know when I I don't know when to use a show and even see I know they are different but but I can figure it or what it is do you know Oh yes uh, thanks really pretty it's let me try to explain it Great Okay, have you studied this before? Yes, a little. Uh, when did you study it? Yesterday. Is that important? It's important. My first question was a general one. So, I use used to present perfect. How do you study? Uh, my second question was more specific. As asking you when so I use simple past. Where did you study? So the time is important. Yes, uh, the time I care at the difference when you are not interesting. In the in when something happened, or if you don't know, you use the present perfect, uh, but in the time it's important, or if you know when something happened, you use the simple bus. All right, Maria, you can you can give more any. You can give more another example. Of course. How do you ever driving a Ferrari? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. But an ex, an ex president didn't appear in time. How do you ever eighteen to push us with the camera? <laughs> <laughs> Grip or chip? Trim, trim, trim. Trim, trim, Yes, I have. You know it. It's el malecón. En inglés lo dice, el malecón. You're a gringa. You're a gringa. You're a gringa. No, sorry, I'm a gringa. Uh-huh. When did you last eat pupusa with Cameron? Trip. Mm -hmm. I hate I hate the um, last vacation before the virus outbreak. Mm -hmm. No. Do you see the difference? Um yes, I think Anderson now. <laughs> nice. So how many pupusa did you eat in that time? <laughs> What a pupusa. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you know, to start with, para comenzar, ¿verdad? Unas tres. Usted dice el pecado del pecador. Exacto, ¿verdad? Exacto. Exacto. Now, mm -hmm. as, you can, as you can see here, the Chepe, which is the teacher, 
is explaining the difference between, you know, present perfect versus the simple past. And in these lines, which he highlighted, o sea, las, las, las subrayó y las resaltó, he says, my first question was a general one. So I used the present perfect. I remember I told you last time, if the statement or the, the sentence or what you say uh, is in general, like the time is not important, like you don't say last, last year or yesterday, you're going to be using the present perfect. Okay, like for example, have you studied? Okay, or, or, or I can ask you, I can ask you, have you eaten pupusas this week? Meaning yesterday or, 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 or I mean, in this case, it doesn't really matter, right? Because I, I, I'm not telling you what's yesterday or is it today. I'm asking you, have you eaten pupusas, like in general? Okay. okay. But the second point is my second question was more specific, asking you when. So I used the simple past. When did you study? Or I can ask you, when did you go to El Puerto de la Libertad or to El Malecón? <laughs> And then you're gonna you're gonna remember. I don't remember, or it was last year, or it was last vacation, okay? During Semana Santa, right? During the holidays, or during the Holy Week. And just scroll down over here. Uh, 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 a quick reference, a keyword, a little bit of politics. Can you give me another example? Y le tira esta pregunta. Of course. Have you ever driven a Ferrari? O sea, si le hacen esa pregunta, ¿ha manejado algún Ferrari? No, verdad. O sea, never. In my case, I have never, right? No, I haven't, but an ex president did, apparently, right? Apparently. Maybe you get the reference over here. It was, it, I was trying to make a joke over there. So don't take it personal, all right? So this, this is only just a joke over here. <laughs> yeah, I see Nati got it over there. Maybe Manuel also got it as well, right? Yeah, but that's the point. That's what I put here, apparently, right? Apparently, aparentemente. And then we go with, have you ever eaten pupusas with camarón? Like, if you ask me, I have never eaten pupusas with camarón or with shrimp. Shrimp is a translation, camarón, shrimp. Okay, never. I don't like right? camarón. You don't like it? Okay, yes. And then it, then it says here, uh, yes, I have, you know, in el malecón. Y le pregunta, when did you last eat pupusas with camarón? And then she says, I ate them last vacation before the virus outbreak, antes de que se desatara el coronavirus, you know, outbreak, okay. And now, do you see the difference? And then she says, yes, I think I understand. Y ya va el de meque, y le dice, so how many pupusas did you eat that time? Okay. And, de hecho, para decir, alguien que entró metido, por no decir, como decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? Metido, <laughs> all right, is the following. So, take a look. Nariz decimos nose, right? We say nose. And I'm sending this message to the WhatsApp right now. This is nose. Entonces, alguien que tiene la nariz grande, ¿verdad? Que se mete en a first that they don't really uh, should be messing around is nosy. Okay? Nosy. Porque viene de la nariz, ¿verdad? De entrometerse. Nosy. Be careful. Be careful with the spelling, all right? Why? Because noisy, si le pone una I después de la O, es ruidoso. Noisy, como ese sonido del micrófono, right now. Like that sound on the microphone. That's noisy. All right? Pero si yo vengo de entrometido, es nosy. All right? Clear? Uh, yes. All right. Appreciate your feedback over there. Let me just one second come over here. So right now, what you're gonna do, you're going to practice this conversation in pairs, okay? So that's what you're gonna okay. do. But before you do so, eh, I'm just going to, uh, let's say, I'm just going to uh, pronounce the conversation for you eh, with somebody else over here. So uh, let's see, uh, let me choose another person over here. Y perdón que yo me ocupe de ejemplo, ¿verdad? Pero como no hay un audio, o sea, no les puedo poner el listening en sí, ¿verdad? Pero I'm going to, I'm going to ask a lady, a volunteer who can help me. Somebody else. Yes, somebody else. 
who says me, teacher, I would like to practice with you. Alguien que diga yo, por favor. I can help you. Thank you, Nati. Appreciate that. All right, so in this case, I'm going to be Chepe. Y de hecho, soy Chepe, right? My name is Jose, right? So, and here we go, all right? All right, go ahead, please, Maria. Tani. Chepe, I have a problem. Can you help me? Sure, what's the matter? I don't know when to use I saw and I've seen. I know there is a difference, but I can't figure it out what it is. Do you know? Oh, yes, that's really pretty easy. Let me, let me try to explain it. Great. Sorry. Okay, have you studied this before? Yes, a little. When did you study it? Yesterday. Is that important? It's important. My first question was a general one. So I used the present perfect. Have you studied? My second question was more specific as asking you when. So I'd use the simple past. When did you study? So the time is important? Yes, the time makes all the difference. When you are not interested in when something happened or if you don't know, you use the present perfect. But if the time is important, or if you know when something happened, you use the simple past. Can you give me another example? Of course. Have you ever driven a Ferrari? No, I haven't. But an ex-president did, apparently. Okay. Have you ever eaten pupusas with, with camarón or shrimp? Yes, I have. You know, in El Malecón. When, and when did you last eat pupusas with camarón or shrimp? I ate them last vacation before the virus outbreak. Now, do you see the difference? Mm, yes, I think I understand now. Nice. So, and how many pupusas did you eat last night? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I appreciate that, right? Yeah, see, con de meke, right? Noisy, noisy, right? <laughs> okay, so let me just go ahead and send the uh, send you to a breaker room. Okay, you're gonna be practicing in purse. And immediately I'll be sending this screenshot to you so you can start practicing, okay? Okay. Thanks, uh, one second over here. And all right, so the rooms have been open and join them please as soon as possible. And let me just look for this uh, conversation very quickly, all right? So one second over here. Okay, just one second. This is less helpful. So, for example, in here, vamos a hacer este ejercicio. Dice, what are they doing? ¿Qué están haciendo ellos? No te he enviado todavía. Uh, actually, I sent it. I sent it already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, check it out. Pues, I sent it already. Yeah, can you see it over there? Mm -hmm. 
All right, so let's try to practice, uh, Jocelyn and, and Miguel. Okay, Jocelyn, can you hear us? Are we here? Oh, I got it. Um, All right, so but jo Jocelyn, uh, are you able to uh, hear us over here? Jocelyn? Hola. Yes, try to, try to practice the conversation with uh, Mr. Ramirez, with Miguel, please. Okay. Yeah, then explain it. Great. Okay, how you studied it before? Yes, a little. Uh, when did you study it? Yes, is that important? The simple past, when do you study? So, the time is important? Yes, the time makes all the difference when you are not interested in when something's happiness. More specific as asking you when. So I used to the simple plus when did you study? So the time sent it apparently. Have you ever even pupusas with Cameron? Yes, I have, you know, in the Malacom. When did you last eat pupus with Cameron? I ate them last vacation before the pirate saw break. No, do, do you see the difference? Mm, yes, I think so. I understand so so now. Nice. So, so how many pupusas did you eat that time? <laughs> you don't remember, well, right, Edwin, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't remember well. Okay, Jose, <laughs> if you want, we can change the role right now. But if, if you like, uh, um, let's see, Edwin, let's go back to the main station because we got to continue with with the class. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, bye, Jose. All right, so take more minutes and you're free, by the way. All right, so we're just gonna wait a couple of seconds while everybody else, you know, come back to the main station over here. So just one moment. Did you feel identified with the conversation between Maria and Jose Luis? Kind of. Kind of, right? Yeah, that's the idea, right? At least kind of, that's, that's the point of it. You know, and I really hope that conversation helps uh, or helps you understand a little bit more or, or uh, the difference between the person perfect and the simple past, okay? And I think it does. Mm -hmm. our, next, our next topic in agenda for this evening is the sequence, sequence adverse or adverse of sequence, okay? And this is just a brief, a brief or a short introduction to what they are. All right, let me just go ahead and mute your microphones very quickly and I'll be explaining this. For those of you who already completed the uh, English Corporativo platform, which means the five lessons plus the midterm and the final exam, you're going to find this uh, grammar familiar, okay? So we use the sequence adverse and let me underline them over here just to to emphasize them okay we use the sequence adverbs first next then and finally to describe the order in which two or more actions happen okay 
Like for example, uh, what have you done today? All right, you have done many things, all right? First, you woke up, you had breakfast, you went to work, all right, etc. So that's uh, the, the, how we use sequence adverbs to put things in order, all right? Now, an example, making an omelette, all right? Or uh, uh, like we said in Spanish, you know, making una torta de huevo, right? An omelette. First, you break the eggs. Then you hit the butter in a pan, all right? Next, you add the eggs. Finally, you eat the omelette with toast or with pan francés, right? Okay, with some bread over there. And then we have first, then, next, finally. Now, just keep in mind that it's okay if you say then, like first I break the eggs, then, etc. then I add the eggs, and finally it's okay, you know, next and then mean exactly the same. What happens is that it, it sounds weird if we use then all the time. So that's why we have next, after that, next, etc. right? So that you sound more natural. And, and less repetitive, okay? So that's the idea over here. And these two words like first, this one, all right? First and, and finally, I would say are mandatory, okay? But you can also say first of all, okay? First of all, let me send the spelling to you. Let me send first of all, all right? I just sent to you the spelling order, you know, first of all. That's how you say. First of all, all right? So first of all. You say first of all, etc. And then you, you start speaking over there. All right, let me just go back to the screen over here. So let's continue. And we have this image of this gentleman, like very thoughtful, pensativo, you know, he's very thoughtful. And he's going to help us practice the sequence adverbs, okay? And I think that's gonna be the last a exercise that we're gonna be working on this evening, all right? So take a look at this. So he says, sequence adverbs, what's that? I, I hear you ask. Well, it's not as complicated as it sounds. It's, it's actually not complicated at all. It's all about making sure things are in order, all right? Especially, used in cooking or well, when you give a presentation okay some examples of sequence adverbs are first next secondly lastly you know lastly and finally are synonyms okay but next uh, uh, it would be first secondly next before that or after that and finally and then right if you put this in order, first would be number one, okay? Secondly would be number two, all right? And then you can use next, uh, after that, okay, or after, and then uh, you can use then, finally, and, and, and lastly are synonyms, all right? You say lastly, the ultimo, or lo ultimo, okay? So that's why we say it over there, okay? Let's continue. So what you're going to do with a partner right now, you're going to make an omelet, okay? And you may say, how? Because I don't know how to make an omelet, right? You're going to follow these instructions just to help you out, okay? Look at these hints, miren estas pistas. Look at these images, all right? Look at these images, they have a number, all right? You have number one, number two, number three, four and five, okay? So all you gotta do is to start with, all right? First of all, read the instructions over here and then read the steps, lean los pasos, all right? Read everything and then just try to look at the image and see if the image matches the description, okay? So one more time, look at the image and read the description and see if the description matches the image over there. That's the best way you're gonna do. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a number, all right? If you think this is number one, like uh, pour 
the eggs into a frying pan and add the mushrooms and cook. If you think that's number one, you're gonna write number one. If you think a slice the mushroom is number two, write number two. But please pay close attention to the image. A slice the mushrooms. I think, uh, yeah, I think uh, this one goes over here, right? As you can see over here. So all you gotta do is to match, you know, match the images with the phrases and you gotta write a number from one to five, all right? One, two, three, four, five. All right, we're clear? Yes, I got it. Yes. All right, thank you. Appreciate your feedback over here. So let me just, one second. Let me just uh, send this image to you right away, but uh, let me just one moment over here, please. Because we don't really have the time right now. Um, yeah, but I don't think we're gonna have the time to finish this because it's almost for you to go to, uh, I mean, it's, it's almost time for me to finish this class. Let's do something, okay, let's do something. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna be working tomorrow will be this, okay? Uh, but right now, since I don't really have the time because I need to start a class in one minute or two minutes, we're gonna put this on hold. So let's put it in espera, okay? So, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, but in the meantime, let me just ask, does anybody have any questions for me about the platform? Aprovechemos estos minutos para hablar de la plataforma. Yes, I have. All right, go ahead, please, Raquel. Uh, I don't remember what was the homework uh, when you said in the first class we have to do something, but I don't remember how many words or how, how many um, sentences. Yeah. I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I see, I see. I understand over here. So remember that we start the class with a, an idiomatic expression or a saying, just like this one, well blanket. So if you do the math, Raquel, uh, we are going to be together a month, but it's only 20 days, okay? No, actually it's only 16 days because it's four weeks. Cuatro semanas de cuatro días, right? So four times four equals 16, which means that by Thursday, and this is optional, o sea que no es obligación. So uh, if you want, share with me by email or by WhatsApp, a, a list of 16 sentences using the words that I share with you, like with blanket, etc., etc. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's okay. the homework. I remember this is just optional if mm -hmm. you want to do it, right? In that way, uh, at least you're gonna have the last opportunity to review this vocabulary, which I think is gonna help you. Now you know how to say agua fiestas para fin de año, you know, for the holidays. Okay. Right? <laughs> Nice. Thanks. So I hope, to, I hope to see you tomorrow. And then if you have any questions or if you need my help for, for the platform, let me know, please. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. See you. All right. See so you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. All right. Bye. 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 Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Have a great night, okay. everyone. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.